So, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Team Reptile. Tonight, we have ventured back out onto Deer Lake in Clarkston, Michigan. And the reason we've came out here is one, I love it here. Because I used to <laughs> spend so much time here. I even did swim lessons here when I was a little kid, and then I worked here a long time. And now I just sneak onto the beach and uh, into, the, into the boat launch because I don't know if I'm really supposed to be here. And I just rock the boat. Does it look like I'm tipping? All right, anyways, this is our first catch of the night. However, I did not catch this in the water. I caught this. It's a snapping turtle, a common snapping turtle. You can tell by the shell. You can also tell by the way I'm holding it so I don't lose a finger because you can see that he's pretty feisty right now. I caught this while I was driving here because right now, today it got up to about 84 degrees. It's still only the middle of May, but that warm temperature brought a lot of turtles up. In fact, I've already talked to the group here and they saw some turtles on the road today. I talked to a couple other friends. They talked about seeing some turtles on the road. They're starting to move around. Some of them are moving around for breeding. Some of them are just moving between their hibernaculums, their hibernation spots, basically, to areas where they're gonna spend for the summer. But we're gonna kind of venture out here not too much for weeds right now, and that's one of the reasons I love coming out at this time. The turtles are moving around on the bottom, and they're a lot easier for us to spot at night. It wasn't too long before we found another turtle to use for our upcoming Good Team turtle. Reptile exhibit. Ooh, we, we just caught a little musk turtle, and you would think by the size of this that it's a baby. Well, it is, but it's not. This one right here is at least a year old. When they come out as a hatchling, they're about that big. Can you see that hole that I'm making? about that big so he is at least a year old Nickel size. they don't live as long as well they, not obviously that we know every single musk turtle but um, these guys don't live as long as like the box turtles and all that I'd say probably on average they live 15 to 20 years maybe a little longer but they'll reach adult size probably by about I'd say about their fifth year and this little guy right here is quite a ways to go I was surprised he was out moving around he was close to shore but He's, uh, he's big enough where he can protect himself a little, but he's not big enough where he can protect himself from all predators. Uh, as he gets larger, he'll be a little safer, but you can see how vulnerable they are on the bottom side. They can Once they're flipped over, they're easy to pick at. The top, they got a nice hard shell, and they're obviously very feisty, and will try to protect themselves, even though his little jaws really couldn't do any damage to anything. As we drove further out into the lake, we found a common map turtle floating on the surface, which Heather was easily able to scoop up. That's hilarious. Got him. It's all over. Turtle. Let me see him. You can go in with the others when you're ready. Turtle. Is it a male or female? Uh, I bet I'm guessing male. He's got his skinny head. Well, isn't he more domed? Mm, kind of. Not necessarily. But how about the vent? I can't see. I don't understand the whole vent. The vent? Oh, wait. Explain. It's oh, way I'll past. What's that? It's way past. Okay, then it's a boy. It's a boy. <laughs> I wanted to show Ashley and a couple of the other Team Reptile members what I meant about the, the turtle's vent, so I had to first carefully pull the tail away from the map turtle's body. What do you mean, like? The vent is their hole when they go to the bathroom. Well, yeah, I know that. Clearly. And if it's past, <laughs> if it's past this point. Oh, okay past the edge of the carapace, then generally it is a male. A male. Okay. Does that go for all turtles? Um, yes, primarily. And that is because all turtles, um, the male is going to get on top of the female and it's going to wrap its vent down to the female's vent. We put the map turtle in a container to use for our upcoming exhibit and then moved over to the nearby shoreline in search of a mud puppy. Can somebody get their lights on them? Where is it? Within just a few minutes, we were able to locate right, one crawling that. along the bottom floor. Preferably without the holes. Bent that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's gonna go right between them. No, oh, he went in. He went down. He went in under that. Oh, cool. that. Sweet. So cute. Uh, I mean, what kind, cute? What is it? I guess it's it's a, a giant salamander. salamander. It, is a, it is a salamander. It's a salamander that survives. Remember, don't keep the lights on them, though, because they'll burn them up. They'll dry them up real fast. We need to get them in the water pretty quick. But, I um, think it would fit. He's already drying out. Some if I touch him, go ahead and put some water in them. Do that. If I touch him with my hands, my oils, the oils we have on our skin, I found out the hard way, we'll kill him. Oh. Within a week, he'll, he'll die. But he has gills. You guys will get to see it. We're going to need more water than that. More water? Or, yeah, a little more. 
Um, it's actually a salamander that starts in the water and remains in the water the whole life, and that's what those big red bushy gills are, and you'll see those when you get them in the water. But I don't touch them anymore with my hands because I've hurt, I've killed a few that way, and that's how I found out, was that they, they get almost like a fungus that grows on their skin. Might be okay. The mud puppy was the last species of animal that we had hoped to catch for our upcoming exhibit. So now we thought it would be a good time to call in a night. Okay, so sometimes we do find all the animals we're looking for, but then there's times when we go out looking for animals for our exhibits and displays where we really don't have specific species of wildlife in mind that we're searching for. We just hope to find something cool. Well, something like that happened a couple years ago. In fact, it was the summer of 2004 on Lake 16 in Orion Township, Michigan, where we went out just hoping to find something, and we happened to have one of the most exciting and coolest catches we'd had in a long time. Our night on Lake 16 started out fairly slow. For a while it seemed as though all we saw were flying insects that were attracted to our lights. Our first catch of the night was a painted turtle that Maureen had spotted surfacing for air. Let's let Maureen get it out and she can talk about it. Okay. It's going to be a little muddy. Set her down. Oh, <laughs> <you> <laughs> right. to oh my god, that is a big bug. Oh, you got him? Yeah. Can you see him? Hey. Oh, he's hissing. There's another cool. turtle in there? Look at those, look at those His nails. claws are getting me too. Can you put the light? Thanks. Oh, you crazy guy. <laughs> is it so a boy or girl? Let's take Check a look. Check the vent. Please, I don't know. I can't ever tell. Let's see. You Looks look like away. a boy. Because it's past the shell, right? Yep, it's past the carapace. He has long nails. Oh, long okay. Nails. The shell is what? Yeah, the shell is boy. pretty oh. nice. Pretty flat. So yeah, it's pretty flat. It's a big soft shell right here. Lots of nails. And they're getting me. Yep. He's not he so He can happy. join his other friend. All right. Hi, buddy. Put oh, you down in there. Swim. Whoa, upside down. Is he okay? <laughs> Got a floater. Uh, can't touch my face now. Can't touch. Can't touch. That's a pike. Look at that neck. Oh, it? Whoa, oh, you know how oh. you got the nails? Oh. 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 Focus. Focus. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> He's friendly. Plenty of time to kiss and love on the turtle later. It wasn't too long after that refocus moment that we located we our find of the night. He's moving. Somebody He's keep moving. lights on it. We gotta go forward. Where'd he go? He's uh, right in front of me. He moved. Go uh, straight forward. He moved that way. Slow down, slow down, slow down. He's right there. He's... Slow down, stop, back up, back up, back up. It definitely to took right us here. a little while, but we were finally able to land our big find, an wait, adult wait, male common snapping I turtle. Right here. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect that big. Oh my god. Huge. Oh my god, his nails are bigger than mine. He's very big. Very, very big. It's just stuck. That's why I can't get it out. Stay there, big fella. He's old. He's not moving fast. He's like, uh. <laughs> Dang uh, you. Um, he really isn't moving fast either. This darn team up, pal. He caught me 20 years ago. <laughs> We knew that the snapper would be great for our upcoming family fun night display in Springfield Township, so we decided to create a holding container for him. However, moving him to that holding container turned out to be even tougher than catching the big fella. Lost in it! Sorry, dude. He's huge. He was heavy, he was huge. And he was going for fingers. And we lost the net. Oh, no! Oh, no. Alright, we gotta catch some that. Oh, dear God! Oh, I made a mess down there. Sweet, I got my it? finger cut. He's gonna take a chunk out of my bottom. <laughs> <laughs> the net wouldn't sink, would it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the black net. It's oh, yeah. Is that big metal one? Over here no, it's just the black one. What's that? Oh, it's black, over so it's here. easy to see. Oh, yeah. How you doing, big fella? Wow! Look that is big, dude. That, yeah, don't put your finger there. He's not going to bite it. Oh, oh my yeah. Gosh. I don't know if I've ever 